the chairman of the board of Ibom Air, Pastor Imabasi Jacob. So please come to this microphone, sir, and lead us in brief opening prayers. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the gift of a beautiful day. Thank you for all our guests, host, hostesses, good people of Akwaibom State, Nigerians, that you have brought to this event to witness the vision of your son, Governor Dom Emmanuel, to witness the development strides that you have allowed him to achieve in Akwaibom State. And so, Father, we commit this event into thy hands and ask that you direct every part of the proceeding. We pledge that at the end of the day, we return all the glory unto you. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Imar Basi Jacob. Management consultant, pastor, chairman of the board of Ibo Bayer. Thank you. Your Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today is Friday, the 26th day of May 2023. The last working day of the week, the last working day of the very impactful eight year administration of Mr. Domi Manuel as governor of Akwaibom State. But then it is a day that will be recorded in the annals of the history of this country, especially in aviation sector development. Because we are gathered here for the commissioning of the only ever terminal building conceived, designed, built, completed by any state government ever in the history of this country. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Aviation is not something that people just double into. As a matter of fact, it is not within the realm of mere mortals. But over the past eight years, Aquaibom has been led by a mere mortal who has allowed the immortal power of God to lead him in the activities and the decisions that he has taken. Very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is an enduring legacy, one of very many of the Udomi Manuel administration Standing right here is the best, the newest, the smartest, the most up-to-date airport terminal building anywhere on the African continent. Courtesy of a gentleman who came at a time and knew exactly what he wanted to do to change the fortunes of this state. It is therefore on that note that I want to request that we give beyond an ordinary welcome, we give an achievers round of applause to His Excellency, the Governor of Akwaibom State, Mr. Udum Gabriel, performance, achievement, impact, Emmanuel. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Indeed, history will be kind to you, even if it is written by those who do not like you. Whatever it is, there are certain things that really, there is nothing we could do to erase such a legacy. His Excellency, the Governor is not here alone. His very dear wife, very supportive of his ambition, ever supportive of his leadership, ever supportive of his policies, being an authentic role model for the people of Akwaibom State, the very affable, the very motherly, the very personable First Lady of Akwaibom State, please make welcome Her Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Martha Udum Gabriel Emmanuel. Please celebrate Her Excellency. We welcome very specially the chairman on this occasion, 
a gentleman who I think maybe, maybe seems to love Akwaibo more than very many other places in this particular country. Maybe the only place he loves more than Akwaibo City is Kwara State. Because he's always coming here to identify with us, especially at our high points like this. Chairman on this occasion, former governor of Kwara State, former president of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Dr. Abubakar Bukala Saraki, CON, please put your hands together for him. Your Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the bane of development, especially in developing countries, is the lack of continuity of policies, is the lack of continuity of the vision which predecessors set in place by those who succeed them. We are here in this airport, and Akwaibom State has an airport, because very many years ago, someone saw much further than the rest of us, and actually started this particular airport and built the vision for flying to get here. That gentleman was governor at the time. He laid the foundation, conceived, and did a lot of the groundwork, and it is therefore fitting that this airport is named after him. Former governor of Akwaibom State, the one we love to call the father of modern Akwaibom, the visioner himself, His Excellency, the Edwerekbe Asutanekbe, Obon Architect, Victor Basi Udodia Atta. Please put your hands together for His Excellency, former governor Victor Atta. We welcome very specially His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Akwaibom State, the longest serving Deputy Governor in the history of this state, a man of capacity, a man of finesse, a man of very deep intelligence, supporting 100% the vision of his boss. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Moses F. Echo, member of the Order of the Federal Republic, we welcome you, sir. We welcome very specially to this occasion a gentleman who in three days' time, the elect would be removed from his title. An ever-smiling and affable gentleman, a very hard-working gentleman, whom the people of Akwaibom State have actually given the task of leading them for the immediate future, especially over the next eight years. Governor-elect of Akwaibom State, Pastor Umar Basi Eno is here. He's not here alone. Deputy Governor elect of Akwaibom State, the first female to be so called in the history of this state. Senator Dr. Akun Eyayi is also here. <laughs> Let me recognize Your Excellency with your kind permission. The wife of the former military governor of Akwaibom State, who at a point was chairman of the implementation committee of this airport and until his passage was chairman of the board of this airport. The late Air Commodore Idonga Sinkara, who actually played a big role in this particular one that we are standing here. He's no more here with us, but the wife, Mrs. Fumi Idonga Sinkara, is here. Please put your hands together for her, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome the state chairman of the only political party that has brought development to Akwaibom in the history of this state. The party that all of us identify with. Every road you pass in Akwaibom, every school you see, every hospital you enter, every airport, every Ibom Air, every person that you see that has been developed by democracy in Akwaibom, it is because the People's Democratic Party gave the foundation for that development. The state chairman of our party, Elder Anyeka Akwan, is here. Please put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome very specially to this occasion distinguished senators that are here, members of the National Assembly, those from Akwaibom, those from outside Akwaibom. I have seen another very great friend of Akwaibom, senator speaking for the Federal Capital Territory in the Red Chamber. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished senator Philip Aduda is here. Please put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. Through him, we welcome all of the senators that have come here. We welcome members of the National Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party. I've seen the National Legal Advisor, and through him we recognize all of the members of the National Working Committee, 
of the People's Democratic Party who have come to be witnesses to this event. Can we please put our hands together for them and welcome them very specially. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we welcome very specially all of the members of the Akwaibom State House of Assembly that are here. We welcome Secretary to the Akwaibom State Government, Head of the Civil Service, Commissioners and Special Advisors. We welcome very specially the service commanders that are here. This is a state that has been adjudged by the international community, adjudged by the security agencies as one of the, if not the most peaceful states in this country. It is this state of peace that has attracted the development that we have seen here in Akwaibo. And we pay tribute to the work that is done by the security agencies, the commanders and the foot soldiers who stay awake at night so that Akwaibo state can sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce Commander, 2 Brigade of the Nigerian Army, Brigadier General K.E. Chibu. Please put your hands together for the 2 Brigade Army Commander who is here with us. Thank you very much. Commissioner of Police at Kwaibom State, CP Elate Durosimi is also here. Please put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. And through them, we recognize all the other service commanders. I've seen the, se the sector commander of the Federal Road Safety Corps, the controller of corrections at Kwaibom State. I've seen also the controller of immigration at Kwaibom State. The State Director of Security is also here, and the Commander of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Commander of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, all of the security personnel, their commanders and the foot soldiers, we celebrate them. Please put your hands together for them, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome all of our senior stakeholders, former Federal Minister Chief Ndwese Esien is here with us. We welcome the representation from the corporate sector, the chairman of the board of Ibom Air had prayed for us earlier. The MD of Ibom Air running the best airline flying anywhere on the west coast of this, co of this continent today. Captain Fonodom is here together with the wife. We welcome the brand new Tia Robert chairman of the board of Access Bank, former national president of the Nigerian Bar Association. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Lusoro, senior advocate of Nigeria and the wife of Ford. Both of them are here. And through them, representation from all other corporate organizations that are here. We welcome very specially the chairman of the board of BKS Construction Company, Engineer Oliver Ebong, fellow Nigeria Society of Engineers, the managing director of BKS Nigeria. We welcome Mr. Ono Kumrao. That is the company that interpreted the vision of the state government that they have put together this very beautiful seven star edifice. We welcome the management, the chairman of the board of the Kwaibom Airport, the Victor Tank International Airport, chaired by Dr. Inyobong Esien. We welcome Managing Director of the Airport, Mr. Uwe Kanem, and through them all of the other stakeholders in this particular aviation hub here in Kwaibom State. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Director General of our governorship campaigns, Nigeria's former ambassador to Russia, former Attorney General of this state, Chief Assam Assam, Senior Advocate of Nigeria is here. Please, can we put our hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome very specially all of the Royal Fathers that are here. Your Excellency, this airport, as a matter of fact, there are a number of local government areas that fall within the catchment area of the Victor Ota International Airport. Let me identify and request that we welcome very specially His Royal Majesty Edidem Ita Edidokokun, Paramandula of Okobo, local government area. Please put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. His Royal Majesty Edidem Peter Okun Ephiom, Paramandula of Nsenetai local government area. Can we please put our hands together for him? His Royal Majesty Edidem Atakbo, the right honorable Cosmos Basinka, and then some of Udran and Paramandula of Udran local government area. Can we please put our hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen? Chairman of boards, commissions, and technical committees, permanent secondaries, and heads of extra ministerial departments, we welcome you. We welcome very specially chairman of local government areas that are here, specially invited guests, members of the political class, members of the business community, stakeholders in the aviation sector in this country, aviation journalists, members of the fourth estates of the realm. We welcome the beautiful people of Akwaibom, especially these wonderful women of Akwaibom that have come out here. Even a quiet one, put a million in a bank, so build the youth, build the youth. The youth of a quiet one said we welcome you very specially. The female youth who have come out here to come and witness this event. We welcome the representation from all of the political organizations, professional bodies that are here, all of the specially invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. 
Today, like I said, is a day that will go down in the annals of the history of these states and of this country. Because today we are witnessing the commissioning of a facility which was begun by a gentleman who could see tomorrow even from today. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, since 2015 till today, 2023, we have passed through some of the most difficult economic moments in this country. At some points, the oil price, which is the mainstay of the economy and the highest contributor to the GDP of this country, was the lowest in recent history. We have passed through two major recessions. We have passed through something that has never been seen before, more than a year of the complete shutdown of the business and social life of the entire world through a pandemic known as COVID-19. This has indeed been very difficult times for the world and for this country. But amidst all of that difficulty, Akwaibo must reason like a phoenix. Akwaibo must stood out as a state of excellence. Governor Dobi Manuel has done some of the best infrastructure in the history of this country, some of the best human capital development in the history of this country. He has started an airline that has proven to be the best in this country. He has built here an airport terminal building and a taxiway and an MRO he has completed, which is the best in this country. He has constructed some of the finest roads in this country. He has completely brought about a turnaround of over 24 general hospitals in this state. He has been one of the best performers as far as the leadership in the sub-national level of this country is concerned. Three days until the exit of his administration, we are struggling for days and time to commission projects. We are here and we welcome all of those who are watching the live telecast of this event on the different television stations that are sharing it, and also those, of course, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, who are watching it across the world wide web. Let me invite a gentleman who will present an address of welcome on this occasion, a gentleman whose ministry has the mandate of His Excellency and the government to supervise and ensure that this project sees the light of day. Honorable Commissioner in charge of the Ministry of Special Duties and Deep Sea Port, Dr. Basi, Basi Okun, a welcome address. Please put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of the State, very distinguished guest here present, please permit me to stand on the existing protocol. Welcome remarks by the Honorable Commissioner, Minister of Special Duties and Igbom Deep Sea Port, Dr. Basi Okun, on the occasion of the inauguration of the Maintenance, Repair and Overhaul Facility, International Terminal Building, and parallel taxiway, rapid exits, and apron extension at the Victor Ta International Airport, Rio Protocol. It is my pleasure to welcome His Excellency, His Entourage, and all our guests to this epoch making event, the inauguration of flagship projects, VIS, MRO, International Terminal Building, and parallel taxiway. Your Excellency, in keeping with your vision and mission on infrastructural renaissance and fulfillment of your promise to complete all economically viable projects initiated by previous administration in the state, you awarded contracts for the construction of the highlighted projects within the Big Tata International Airport. Permit me, Your Excellency, to take you down memory lane Prior to taking over from the previous administration, the MRO facility was at 35% completion stage, while, the, while that of the taxiway was 30%. The construction of the International Terminal Building was undertaken as a completely new project. The MRO facility and International Terminal Building that we are about to inaugurate today are pay setters in Africa with their modern designs and infrastructure showing the world that Nigeria, and in particular Kwaibom State, is leading in the power and aviation infrastructure development. 
apart from favorable ranking in Africa, they are also ranked among the best facilities in the global aviation industry. Aquaibon people are indeed, and indeed in the world, will stand up in recognition of your administration's achievement even after your exit from office. These facilities will provide a platform for many other African countries and beyond to benefit from. With the MRO facility, Aquaibon states is said to attract foreign earnings, that is in dollars, that airlines spend on various checks and maintenance in places outside Africa. I express my immense gratitude to God, our dear Governor. I express my immense gratitude to you, our dear Governor, for your commitment to see that all projects in the airport are completed and operational. Your periodic, your periodic inspection periodic inspection to satisfy or to ascertain the progress of projects, site visits and prompt release of funds for their completion are highly commendable. Without doubt, the inauguration of these projects for use from today will have multiplier effects on the development of Aquaibum states because of the overwhelming returns on investment this will generate. Their full operation will promote robust foreign exchange inflow, generate additional revenue for development, create diverse employment opportunities, and expand the socioeconomic growth of the states. Once again, sir, I doff my cap for Your Excellency consistency in marching words with action in the eight years of your administration. I stand to acknowledge that your expertise in handling state affairs has indeed created the enabling environment for investors to continue to explore opportunities in the states. I appreciate your excellency for your continuous faith in this ministry. The deputy governor, the speaker, acquired the state house of assembly, secretary to the state government, head of service, my colleagues, and especially the house of assembly on project monitoring, evaluation, and implementation for their wondrous oversight functions, which proved, which proved very valuable towards the success of these projects. I extend my warmest appreciation to the Permanent Secretary, esteemed staff of this ministry, contractors, Mese Kamosa, BKS Nigeria Construction Limited, RAS Premium Limited, also, the following consultants, Snyder Engineering, Similar Consult, are appropriately acknowledged for their dedication and untiring cooperation towards the successful completion of this project. Let me extend my warmest appreciation to the Parma rulers of Okobo, Urwan, Nsretai, the youths and women, for providing a congenial environment towards the successful completion of these projects. Your Excellencies, members of the National Assemblies and State Assemblies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I heartily welcome you to the inauguration of these laudable projects to the glory of God and for the benefit of mankind. May God richly bless our Governor for his foresight and commitment towards the aviation development in the state. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, mechanical engineer, and all commissioner in charge of the Minister of Special Duties at Kwaibom State, Dr. Basi B. Okun. Can we please put our hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we talked about vision and having seen the future. Several years ago, a number of very intelligent Aquaibum students were given scholarship to study in different fields by the then governor, His Excellency Architect of Bang Big Tota, very many years ago. Some of them came back and lectured in the university, rose to the rank, acquired their second degrees, acquired their PhDs, some of them are professors. One of those students 
who benefited from Obong Atas scholarship project many years ago is a man who just left here as Commissioner for Special Duties. I think that was also some foresight. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we want to appreciate very especially the people who are watching the live signals of this event. And those who have copies of the program would agree and have seen that this is a two-part program. This is the terminal building. When we leave here, we're going over to go and commission the first maintenance, repair, and overhaul facility in this part of the world that can actually accommodate up to seven numbers Boeing 737 aircraft for maintenance, repair, and overhaul services here at the Victor Ta International Airport. So please, by the time we finish here, please kindly do well to just move from here to the MRO facility. The event will still be live on television. This is live on Channel TV. This is live on Aquibom Broadcasting Corporation. This is live on the Aquibom State Government official social media pages. The next event, 15 minutes after we finish here, will be live on the Africa Independent Television and other television stations. So when we finish, my friend will see me, my mama, we start on the Mika MRO. We will see something from the MRO. It might be maintained, blame. We will forget the good that we are here, I say. So, Frank, we will see you in the Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a good number of people are very excited at this particular facility. And if we were to give an opportunity to people to speak, to express their happiness, their excitement, their relief, we would spend more time here than the TV stations can afford to give us. But we are inviting people who will give good deal messages and we trust that they will definitely be able to express the sentiments of gratitude of the people gathered here at this particular edifice in the words that they will speak on our behalf. First, let me invite members speaking for the people of Ibesipua Sutan in the Kwaibom State House of Assembly, who is the chairman of the House of Assembly Committee that played oversight function and responsibility on this point. The Right Honorable Elder Anekan Uko for a message of goodwill. Please put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen, as he comes forward here for that purpose. State, we describe you as the model of good governance in Nigeria, Your Excellency. Our mommy and the mother, Ekawana Kwaibum, Your Excellency, Ekaibo Rakam. The Deputy Governor, the former Senate President, I would love to raise on protocol, but let me recognize the incoming Governor and his Deputy. My leader, our mentor, His Excellency, the former Governor, and the leader of the resource control struggle, Architect Bon Vitota. Your Excellency, first and foremost, let me be a little sentimental for naming this airport after architect Obong Victor Ta when he is still alive. Your Excellency, I want to say that many generations will remember you and also honor you and your children and your family in Jesus' mighty name. Your Excellency, I, want, I don't want to take much of your time. I'm not speaking as member representing the Sutan State Constituency. Your Excellency, if there is anyone that can attest to the fact on the project you have embarked on since you became the governor of Aquarium State, I think I am in the right position to say. So people ask questions. Where is the money? What I have to say is to tell them to come and see it here. Your Excellency, in all the projects we have supervised as House of Assembly, here more than eight times in four years. And like the commissioner said, 
Anytime I call him, he will always tell me he's at the side. And we will drive down here. Your Excellency, thank you for appointing a square peg into that square hole. He has done so well. Your Excellency, just a few days ago, an Akwaibom daughter won, broke a record of in the book. Cooking for cooking for just 100 hours. I want to ask a question today. If we have a governor that has worked for eight years and you want to calculate the number of hours, it gets to 70,080 hours in eight years without any vacation. What would we say that governor has done? He has entered the Guinness Book of Record. He has broken the record. And he has even scattered the record. Your Excellency, today, I am proud to be identified with this project. We came here, and the first comment I made with the Commissioner, I said, I hope this airport is not analog. That when people like us cry, go, they will tell us to lose our shoes and remove our clothes before we can pass. But we saw that the screens, the security points here, you don't need to remove your belt. You don't need to remove your shoes. You just walk up us. You just walk up us. And you are screened automatically. Thank you, Your Excellency, for giving Aquaibom a name. A name that generations yet on board will come to see. Thank you, Your Excellency. I want to say that all the reports and all the memos that I have been sending to you, Your Excellency, as the Chairman House Committee on this project, your Excellency, you have seen the result, and I know you are happy. Thank you, Your Excellency. If in the next few days before Monday, you see another memo, Your Excellency, please don't hesitate to put your signature. Thank you, Your Excellency. Akwaibomi Songo. Ibarakabutu Baba Akwaibomi Songo. Ibarakabutu Baba Akwaibomi Songo. Ibarakabutu Baba Akwaibomi Songo. Thank you very, very much. Member speaking for the people of Ibe Sikbo, but speaking here in his capacity as Chairman of the House of Assembly Committee on Monitoring Supervision of Special Projects, the Right Honorable Elder Anirkan Uko. Your Excellency, it was important for the House of Assembly, who play an oversight responsibility on government, to come and attest to the fact that this has been money well spent and a project well conceived. But then he also made reference to the record-breaking achievements of His Excellency as Governor. I don't know how he calculated those hours. But Your Excellency, when somebody scores a hat trick in a football match, they give him the match ball and they say, you should take it home, where he scored three goals in one match. Your Excellency, by the records that he has calculated and talked about Guinness Book of World Records, when they include your name in the Guinness Book, they will give you the book and say you should go home. They should go and start another fresh Guinness Book. Let me invite a gentleman who will give us an overview of this project, the head of the company that actually, cons um, actually implemented this particular one and constructed it. The managing director of VKS Construction Company in Nigeria, Mr. Ono Kumra, to kindly come up here for a project overview. Please put your hands together for him as he comes up for the purpose. Thank you. Sir. Your Excellency, sir, Your Excellency, Madam, and all the protocol, I just want to give a small brief, a short brief on the project. Um, you know, um, when we started to design the project, we came to you, sir, and we learned your dream about Ibom Air. Of course, every terminal building, the client is not government, client is, is our airline, and you were so positive on Ibom Air, which see the result now um, any anywhere in Nigeria when I, when I go and when I travel people 
are referring Ibo Air's um, services. So this airport building that our humble company has built is just a support to your Ibom Air company. And that's the only way you can reach the capital, you can reach the money, the foreign investment, and you know it much better than us. So after you gave us the vision, we have done changes in our project as you are aware of it. Because, because the capacity that we were planning was much less than what you told us. So let me just give a brief on the capacity of this building. Uh, it's totally 28,500 square meters, uh, the closed land of the building, gross building area. And the capacity of this building is 1.5 million per year passengers. But, but, but let me add something. It's for 12 hours shift. So when Ibomair will start 24 hours operations, it will be 3 million, 3 million annually will be the capacity of this building. And, 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 and this, is, this, is, this is enough to bring um, the necessary partners to, to the next government for continuing the investment in the state. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for giving us the chance to show ourselves and expertise in this project. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, access drives development. Access is a pathway for development. And by beginning the airline, which is expanding and employing, by setting up this infrastructure in this airport, you are creating the access that will drive the accelerated development of a pipe of state. Mr. Comrade has told us that this particular facility at full flight, if it runs 24 hours, can process 3 million passengers per year. And of course, if they run a 12-hour shift, can process 1.5 million passengers per year. Statistics from those who should know indicate that the Victor Thai International Airport is one of the top five busiest airports in this country. This is definitely going to enhance much more aviation travel, expand the access, create an opportunity for commerce, create an opportunity for development, and of course connect people to dreams, and connect of course dreams to reality. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take another message of goodwill, and the last on this occasion, and that will be done by a gentleman who needs little or no introduction as far as this country is concerned. Very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the one after whom this airport is named, the Edwarekpe Asutanekpe, His Excellency, Urban Architect, Victor Attack. Because Victor has to be able to as he comes up here to give a message of good Excellency, the Executive Governor of Akwai Bombset, Deacon Udom Emmanuel, his dear wife. Let me stand on the existing protocol for lack of time. I want to say a thing of beauty is a thing of joy forever. Those were the words pronounced by President Lushogun Obasanjo when he came to lay the foundation for the building of this airport. And today, you've made it come true. Who could be happy than what you have here for us? Thank you very much, Never mind. I will speak specifically as I stand here on the MRO because there'll be no time to make speeches there. The MRO as conceived, you know, is supposed to be a big money earner for acquired bomb state. And I was pained when it was abandoned. Governor Edo Emmanuel, I thank you for resuscitating and completing that work. 
It is the only one in East in West Africa. We have a similar one in Ethiopia. We have one in South Africa. And this was conceived to serve the West, West, Western region of Africa, or the Western region of Africa. And it was a pity and a shame that we could not proceed with it to make it what it was. But you have done so. I thank you, Governor Odemi Manuel. I will appeal to all of us, when we leave here, as been suggested, please come and be overwhelmed, because there's only word to use. Come and be overwhelmed by the size of that building. You will be dwarfed by what you see there. Because, as has been said, two 747s can sit in that maintenance area to be maintained simultaneously. And six 737s can sit in that space to be maintained simultaneously. That is the vision that we have realized for Kwaibom and for all of West Africa. I thank you, Governor Udemy Manuel. One, one of these days, I see you are very fond of inviting General Robertson George or Chief Robertson George to come and commission projects. Please one day invite him to come and see that project because it was almost killed during his time. It was stalled for a very long time. But thank God he survived. And to, please, today we have to say we are grateful to you and to God that the MRO is a reality. Thank you very much, Governor Odile On his next birthday in November of this year, His Excellency Yobong Victor Ta will be 85 years old. But then he, I think he's getting stronger with age. We don't know if he's aging backwards. But then I'm very, very sure that in the years that he has lived, almost 85, I'm sure that this airport and the things he see would be one of the happiest memories that he would have. Just like the rest of us who are witnesses to history being made. For indeed, what is history? It is only a record of the activities of men. Very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to move a vote of thanks on this occasion is a gentleman who in three days will be succeeding this seven-star performing governor. Governor-elect of a Piper State. The golden boy himself, Pastor Umar Basi Enon. Please put your hands together for him as he comes forward for a vote of thanks. Your Excellency, the Governor of Aquaibom State. Agreeably, the most prominent of Nigeria. Welcome, sir. Yes, I am the mother of a quiet, a campaigner in chief. We salute you, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Akwaibo, Mankumo, the former Senate President that is here, the father of modern Akwaibo, architect of Mount Victor Atta. Governor of Aquaibom. We are proud to be here this afternoon to commission this smart airport terminal building. For me, my promise to you, Your Excellency, and the people of Aquaibom is that we will maintain this building. In Nigeria, we are used to having 
magnificent edifice and after a few years you find out that maintenance becomes a problem but I like to assure you that years after years as God gives us grace to serve a quiet bomb we will ensure that this building is, remains in its optimal position and is maintained not just the terminal building but for everything that you have commissioned and you will be commissioning be it the MRO, be it the runway, be it um, um, whatever, the stadium that everything you do our job will be to ensure that we maintain and we build on this infrastructure. We like to thank you for the work you have done for Aquaibon. We like to thank you for the foundation you have set that will enable us stand upon that shoulder and fly. We like to thank all of you and thank uh, the former governor of Aquaibon for the dexterity, the commitment in seeing through that this project started and most importantly that it has been completed. I'd like to also assure that if there is any project, Your Excellency, you have not finished, just like you have finished other people's projects, we will finish those projects and we will also make you proud. I'd like to thank everyone that have come here today. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Akwaibo. Thank you for the privilege to serve you. God bless you. Thank you very much, Governor elect of Akwaibo State, Pastor Umar Basi Eno. Thank you very much. You're welcome. In a matter of three days, that gentleman will assume office from 12 noon on the 29th day of May. Please, we want to remind everyone one more time that this is just part one. When we finish, we are please invited to move as we are to the MRO. If you walk briskly, in six, seven minutes, you are going to get there. If you don't move so fast, in a maximum of 10 minutes, you'll get there. We we'll reconvene 15 minutes after we've left here so that we can also witness that money spinning facility which we really do hope will change the face of the economic landscape of Aquaibom State and Nigeria. Very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, cometh the man, cometh the heart. The one who saw the vision, the one who dreamt of things that were not, and actually by the grace of God was able to bring them to pass. Very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the finest in the sets of governors we have in this country, seven-star performing governor, history maker, jinx breaker, record setter, His Excellency, Mr. Udun Gabriel Emmanuel. Please put your hands together for him as he comes forward here to make some remarks and after he will proceed to commission this terminal building. Your Excellency, sir. First of all, giving glory to God. Only, 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 only. Your Excellency, the First Lady, my dear wife, Mrs. Mata Udom Emmanuel. Your Excellency, my own brother, the man who knows how to collaborate, the man who makes friends to keep them, 
the former Senate President, two-time Governor of Kwara State, and two of us were looking for a presidential ticket. PDP did not give us. <laughs> Let me also welcome our father in the state, the former governor, the man that I was trying to wait until a day like this before we could approach the House of Assembly to name the airport after him. But when he celebrated his 80th birthday, I said, what you can do today, don't wait till tomorrow. Now let's better do it now. Because at that time, we're still going through IATA approvals, trying to think how will the second runway look like. But today I'm happy he's witnessing it. Former Governor, Architect Obong Victor Ata. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor. Your Excellencies, let me add Your Excellency for you because you are counting minutes. The Governor-elect and the Deputy Governor-elect. Distinguished Senators here present and members of the National Assembly. Please, those from Akwaibom, permit me to recognize Distinguished Senator Philip Aduda on behalf of all of you, since he's a guest. All members of the National Assembly, members of the State House of Assembly, the Chairman of our party, our traditional fathers, the paramount rulers of the three local government areas, the wife of the former governor, and my wife of my former DG, the former ministers here present, especially the leader of the Eket Senatorial District Elders Forum, the DG of different campaign councils, head of the civil service, SSG, every single person, the MD, the chairman of VKS, the MD of Ibom Air, the chairman of this airport, the MD of this airport, please permit me not to go through while I recognize the service commanders who are here. Immediately I greeted General Chief, who say, I promise you I'm going to support you to the last minute. So I'm just telling him not to the last minute. You support me till my incoming finishes the first term and moves over. But by that time, only God knows where you, where you will be. Because if you are Brigadier General now, at that time, who knows? Let me not pronounce that one here. Because once I pronounce, I don't know, some people will start beefing you. But it will come to pass. Let me just say, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate the youths, the women, the men, the elders, the stakeholders. I also want to thank especially our family members who are here, who have supported us over this time. If you have support from your family, it strengthens you a whole lot. Please, thank you also for members of my campaign council. Our pastors are here. You can see Pastor ID of uh, City of David and several other pastors. A born senior advocate of Nigeria and his dear wife. So many captains of industry. If I want to go through one by one, it will take all the time of my speech. Permit me, probably I'll extend protocol a bit longer when we get to the MRO. I think I'm very excited today, excited that this vision, we are realizing it gradually. The vision for our state for tomorrow is taking a very good shape, and people are beginning to see it. And it's also a big lesson that there's nothing good you do in life. If everybody starts praising you when you're about starting that thing, watch again, could be you're going in the wrong direction. Because if you're going in the right direction, we'll start first of all with criticisms until people now begin to see the result. Today I want to thank God. I'm sure from where people are seated, if you check on top of the roof, you see all kinds of things that look like uh, some might think it's a lightning arrest or some might not even understand the kind of cabling and system being installed there. But today I want to tell you, you know, when we were in the construction of this terminal building, I said the day we finish, and it is not the smartest terminal building in this part of the world, I'll demolish it and build another one before I leave office. But today, today I can tell you, you can see terminal building and you can see terminal building. But the terminal building you're seeing here is the smartest in this part of the world. It's the kind of terminal building that if you have a flight delay, you can just walk completely as if you were in the office and then go and sleep on a flight. It's a terminal building as the chairman, House Committee, was trying to describe. 
There are a lot of things that people go through the airport, but here it's going to be seamless because everything is digitized and will make it easier for you. And people were asking me, how come we don't land up and land down? I said, no, that what you do now in modern terminal building, once you just drop at one point, the rest, the smartness of the building takes over. All you need to do is to find yourself on a conveyor belt or as any kind of escalator. Then it will take you to any gate that you are flying. You can see all the kinds of gates we have here. And out of them, one of the gates can actually carry an A380, which we are building for the future. If you look at our avion bridges, they are very modern avion bridges that we are building to also cope with the environment. A lot of things that are being installed here, but unfortunately, until NCA approval, I just told my brother, former Senate President, Unfortunately, with the volume of people, we can't allow you to enter everywhere today until we have NCA approval. Even when we finish the other side of the taxiway, it took us a long time before we could start using it. Aviation is the most regulated subsector you can ever think of. So anything now, if anything goes, I mean, it will cost us a whole lot of money. So please, please, hold your peace. Those who want to enter, the building is for you. Let's finish with NCA, finish with all the regulators and so on before we throw it open for people. Please, just try and understand with me. And uh, but when we get to the MRO, I think that one has passed through almost all the tests. So we'll be able to tour that one. If you finish the tour of that MRO in 30 to 35 minutes, then in that case I would say that you've not seen 50%. It's MRO that you tour for almost one hour, but let me leave that one aside. But for this building, the contractor and the consultant said so, that you build it with the airline in mind. This is part of our total approach to aviation development, that as you come in, a lot of you have known that we have already made deposit and we're in the process of getting deliveries of 10 A220-300 series of air buses that will run regional flights, run international routes, and some of the partnerships and collaborations we have with other foreign airlines. And you can only do that successfully if you have this kind of building. Initially, we designed it to process one million passengers. But when they came and said that, look, there are a few additions they've made, we can process 1.5 million passengers through this airport in 12 hours of work daily. And if Ibom Air now starts night flights to different regions, that will actually take more. Somebody is saying, uh, why only Ibom Air? Is it only Ibom Air that we use it? The answer is no. I'm using it Bombay because it's also branding. I'm also promoting the one that I have. We welcome United Airlines. We welcome Delta Airlines here. We welcome Emirates. We welcome Qatar. We welcome Turkish Airlines. Almost all the foreign airlines. If they are not attracted by this environment, they should be attracted by this smartest terminal building they can find in Africa today. And I'm sure we'll bring a whole lot of investors to us today. So with this, we we'll have a total approach to aviation development, where somebody can just land here and have all it takes to develop and then get trained. By the time we get to the MRO, I will definitely say a lot more. But please, as Ralph said, let all of us just move to the MRO. It will be a very short ceremony, because over there, we have a different channel. I think AIT will be showing that live and other channels. So we all move here quietly down there and endeavor for those who likes to criticize, endeavor to follow us on a tour of that facility. When you come out, you will only say something, God bless you, Don Emmanuel. I want to thank you for the support for this vision. I want to thank you while I invite, while I invite, please, those who can come with us, let's just cut the tape, declare this building open. I'm sure the former Senate President should be able to make it. And if the former governor can make it, that would be fine. And those mainly that can make it, can we commission this building? I pray as we commission this building today, this building will bring a lot of prosperity for our people. It will bring a whole lot of prosperity for our people. It will attract a whole lot of investment to this part of the world. As we commission this building today, in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank <laughs> you.